Feeling good, feeling great. Now most of you know me as Brent Tim, but today I am Pindi Boy. We are headed to uh, Pakistan's fourth largest city, Rawal Pindi, and guess who's back? It's the sister act of Anam and Ikra. Hello. Oh, this is our third day spending time together. Here we go. Welcome, Food Street. I'm so so hungry. They asked me where I wanted to go in Rawal Pindi. I said we we got to get food first. We'll explore the rest. After that, but we're all focused. Ah, Assalamu alaikum, brother. We are focused on the food right now. And here it is, Rawal Pindi Food Street. A lot of restaurants. Assalamu alaikum. Some nice people over there waving. Hello, hello. Wow, we've got a lot of options. It looks like some uh, stands are gonna, gonna open up as the day goes on. Okay, Ikra, where should we go first? Um, you should tell me. You, as you are hungry, you have to tell me what you want to eat. Oh, anything. So we'll decide. Oh, anything? I, well, okay. I th let's try something new that Why I haven't tried yet. Why you go with shinwari? Shinwari. that's a new thing and you, you haven't tried that. Let's do it. Can, okay. can you tell us what shinwari is? Uh, shinwari Lamb is, meat. Yes. Lamb, lamb meat. meat. I love, love lamb meat. Lamb. Let's do it. And is it, is it grilled? And it's it's uh, pishawar's, you know. Shinwari, it's famous a, it, fish. A special fish. dish in Peshawar. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's, it's, we are going to have that. Oh. We're going to Khyber Darbar. This Let's one is, go. This, is famous one. Uh, this one, Khyber Darbar is the famous one. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. The more famous, the better, am I right? Wow. I bet this place gets absolutely crazy at night when the sun starts to go down and more people come out. Okay. I will follow the girls. Yeah. Uh, would you like to have savers too? Uh, yes. Uh, what is Savers? Let me show you, and then we'll okay. get back. To we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna scope out our options yeah. here, and then uh, make a decision. But we're definitely so going these back all there. Are for Shinvari. All oh, they're all yeah. Shinvari restaurants. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, as, as I guess is okay. The, yeah, yeah, there's big pictures the of sheep right everywhere. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Oh. Just seeing the smiles on everybody's faces out here just yeah, takes my energy eat. level to another another level. Energy level to another level. That's what we're gonna be eating. That's the shinvari. That's the real shinvari. And this is the famous so excited. savor food. The famous savor foods. Yeah. And this is a chain. There's there's yes, there's a few. It is. Okay. It's a chain. Let's go inside and, and see what they got. Got the menu over there. Let's go take a look at that. Got the big water water. Faces out on the table. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, brother. We got ice cream, four different sizes, different scoops. We got the super deal, the crispy deal chicken burgers, wing salt, dinner rolls, french fries, two drinks, the crispo drumsticks, the hot shot 12 piece wings family basket, the chunky deal. I need the chunky deal, you dig what I'm saying? The small deal. The savor crisp, the chicken piece, and we got all the food coming out there. So it kind of feels like a fast food um, type of restaurant. What are we working with here? Coming in hot and heavy. Wow. It is very kebab. Oh, wow. This is for you with kebab. Two kebabs? Yes. We've got that rice palau. Yes. And is that a samosa? No, it's a chicken piece. It's a chicken piece. Oh, a piece of chicken. The way yeah. it was shaped, it looked like a samosa. <laughs> so this is called shimi kebab. These two patties here. It's essentially ground chicken, and then it's mixed with dal chana dal. Dal chana. Dal, yeah. dal, dal chana or chana yes. dal. Chana dal. It, Chan it's the same thing. Like if you say chana first and dal after, that that's really okay. And if you say dal first and chana after, that's really okay. Right. Same. And, and and we know that dal is lentils. Yeah. Yes. What what does chana mean? Chana is a chickpea. Chickpea. Yeah, chickpeas. Oh. That's chickpeas. You know, short form. Yes. Chickpeas, yeah. uh, yep. Chickpeas are sometimes uh, garbanzo yeah. beans. Well, okay. Good at so, so <laughs> the kebab is very, very healthy. A lot of fiber in there. And then this is the palau. Yes. The rice. What makes palau different than biryani? Because it looks the same as biryani. Mm -hmm. No. It is no. I, I know. I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying it looks the same. What is the difference though? Okay. So palau is palau, but biryani has layers. You know, biryani has. Um, first of all, chicken biryani is not biryani. Always a mutton biryani is biryani, right? Mutton has when a but we called it a biryani when it has mutton. There is no chicken biryani. First of all. And then what biryani is made up of, it's, it has layers, you know, one chicken gravy layer or a mutton gravy layer and then it, it has a white rice layer. Okay, but in my opinion, <laughs> <okay>. uh, <laughs> in my opinion, 
Uh, pilau is just the simple rice. Yeah. Okay, but the biryani is uh, we boil rice in biryani and then we add up with the chicken gravy or mutton gravy. What, what, what do we call it? And so this is the difference what I feel in pilau and biryani. Okay, so it's a controversial take on what the difference between pilau and biryani is. You heard it from them. I'm not going to give my opinion. And here come the mint margaritas. Oh, these look mega, mega refreshing. Okay, and I'm just going to tell us yeah, how to eat the I'm palau. I'm going to tell you how to eat Break it down, break it down. Okay, so this is how you have to take it. Then you have to, you know, put a spoon like this. And then you Pour have in the to chutney mix on. it. And then you have to take a bite of it like... One, two, three... Big bites? Oh, nice. And some thunder. And then you take that after and put it in. Try like, one more thing. <laughs> and then you drink the mint margarita all at once without swallowing? Yeah, that's amazing. That's a lot of flavor and texture combinations <laughs> all in one. Okay, let's try my first bite of Pakistani palau. So to start things off, I'm gonna take that chutney, pour it over the rice just like they told me. I'm gonna take a big forkful of that rice. Pow! Wow, wow, wow. Really nice. Really fluffy rice, cooked to perfection. That's about as good as rice gets. Very aromatic, very fragrant. Nice, nice flavor. There's kind of a little bit of a, of, of a sourness or a tang in there. I'm pretty sure well, that's coming from the chutney. I really, really like that. And now even though I didn't do all the, all the bites at once, we're gonna try the mint margarita. This, this looks mega refreshing. Oh yeah. It tastes just like it sounds. A lot of sugar, a lot, a lot of sugar, a lot of mint. It's got a very like natural mint flavor. You can tell they used real mint, and that is this isn't some like uh, fake mint flavor at all. This is like as real deal as the mint gets. You got some like crushed up ice in there as well. That's nice. Hyper sweet, hyper minty, really, really tasty. Okay, we got the plow rice, we got the shemit shimi kebab, pow. Oh wow, it's so savory, it's so good. And this, it's got a great texture to it with the ground chicken and the dal, oh, and, and the garbat and the chickpeas mashed up in there. This is probably like one of the healthiest things I've consumed. The plow, really, really good. And not only that, a mega deal. This was 350 Pakistani rupees or about $1.50 USD. This is well over a kilogram of food. We haven't even got to the chicken yet. I feel like I'm supposed to eat the chicken with my hands. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Like a real Pakistani. Like a real Pindi boy. Yeah. Oh wow, it just it came off. I couldn't even pick it up for the pow. Pow. Mm. Nice and tender. A great flavor coming off that skin. Really, really nice. This almost tastes like it was roasted. Yes, it roasted is. chicken. It is. With kind of like a, a not super crispy skin on the outside, but it's booming, booming with flavor. Oh. Are you feeling super, like a Pindi Boy? Super glad we came here. I'm feeling like a capital P, pushing P, Pindi Boy, am I right? The chutney, the mint margarita, the plow, the chicken, the shimi, the shimi. That's going to be the hardest word for me to ever say. Shimi kebab. Yes. Really, really good. All right, Ikra, where are we going next? Uh, we are going to Khyber Darbar for lamb meat. Oh. Khyber Shinwari, not Khyber Shinwari, Khyber Darbar. Oh. Why are you pointing me out? Like? <laughs> still have more disagreements. <laughs> I don't want to get in between it. We'll let the sisters figure this out on their own. Here is my man chopping up the Shinwari. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Assalamu alaikum. Wow. So he's in this like glass cage almost, just chopping up all that sheep. Oof. Probably not gonna go in there myself. I don't know what that, that smell is like. Oh, we're going over this way, okay. Ikra, how often do you eat Shinbari? Uh, very rarely. Rarely? Yeah. So it's like a special meal, eh? Yeah. Okay. Flattering me, eating a special meal while I'm in town. All right, and we've arrived. And this, this is Hyderabad. Look, the setting is very different. Yeah, really cool sitting. Wow, it's yeah. all out to, oh, you sit, you actually sit elevated yeah. on these and then you lean back on the pillows. Are we gonna sit here? But we are gonna check inside if there is the same. It's the same inside, yeah, okay, perfect. Inside. That works for me. 
most of the Pakistanis that I met, they always prefer to sit inside uh, just because it's so hot during the day, they want to be cool um, at night. Totally get that. Me, I'm, you know, let, let, the, let the sweat run all day. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, brother. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, remove the shoes. I love that. Okay. Taking the kicks off. Yeah, yeah, big, big fan of this. Reminds me of uh, dining in Japan. I went to a restaurant uh, where they serve okonomiyaki, one of my favorite foods in the world, Japanese pancake. And we sat like this and, and we took took our shoes off. Comfy and cozy. Shukriya, shukriya, my friends. All right, it has arrived. That's it. Wow, 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 wow. Look at how juicy that looks. Look at the the steam coming off it. Over here we've got the traditional Pakistani roti. You can see that it's a little more thin than the naan. We found ourselves in another sister argument. <laughs> They're not sure if it's traditionally sheep or lamb. And they've told me that we're going to be eating with our hands. We're not going to eat on the plate. Yeah. We're gonna take the Pakistani roti that just came here and, and scoop some of that out. And of course, we're gonna add lamb. some of the vegetables over there. It's lamb? Yeah. Yes. It's lamb. It's officially <laughs> lamb. Okay, there was some confusion earlier in the video. Is it sheep? Is it lamb? We got the real facts, the straight dope uh, from the survey here. Okay, I'm gonna let you take the first bite, Icarus. You can show us how we're gonna eat it. Takes a nice small piece of the roti. This is all fat. All fat, yeah, there's a lot of fat in there, a lot of fat pieces. Looks really, really juicy though. Takes the big bite. Mmm. Very nice. It's good. It's and, good. And did he say this is karahi? Yeah. Ah, okay. So we've got the, like we've had chicken karahi many times before. Mm -hmm. So we've got a bunch of oil in there. We've got the green chilies and then this gravy. They asked us if we wanted it barbecue style or with gravy. I was like, I want gravy. I want, I want some flavor in there. I love a good grill uh, taste, mm -hmm. but something about being in Pakistan and the gravy, I want hearty. I want savory. Time to tear into my first bite of shinwari. Uh, the aroma, the smell uh, coming off this, 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 this dish just smells absolutely intoxicating the roti baked fresh you can tell it's got those char char marks on it okay we're going in we don't want to grab the fat are there bones in this okay oh wow that's hot super super hot we're gonna grab a piece with the bone we're gonna be oh it's already drip drop dripping we're gonna be very very careful I'm gonna just lick it first because I think it's so so hot oh no we can handle it we can handle it pow shinwari oh yeah a big piece of bone we're just gonna go ahead and um, mm, my fingers on fire, that was so hot. Okay, there was only a little bit uh, of sheep um, on the bone, but it was nice. Super tender, super juicy, a great traditional karahi flavor coming off it. It's spicy, you can tell from the green chilies. It's really, really oily, really hearty, really, really juicy though. You can tell that they cooked it in the fat because it's just so rich, it's almost like in with the oil, they mix like butter or something. I mean, this is super, super heavy. I really dig it. I do wish that there was more like easily accessible mutton, um, just because I want to dig in and, and take a big bite of the mutton with the roti, but we're eating with our hands, so we're gonna pick some more meat off and uh, mix it up with the roti, but yeah, this is solid. We definitely eat shinwari again. Okay, you're not gonna believe this. We were getting ready to uh, leave the restaurant and this very nice family uh, stopped me to ask where I'm from and, and all that. This gentleman right here, he's from Wisconsin. He lives in Wisconsin, right? Yes. Yeah, he lives in Wisconsin. He was talking to me about Milwaukee's best beer and stuff like that, so I mean, it really, really, truly is a small world. What was your name, sir? Name? I'm Muhammad Jafar. Ah, so nice to meet you. And he yeah. gave me their card here. They actually own uh, a grocery store, Raja Bazaar, uh, Halal Meats and Grocery Shops, in Brookfield, Wisconsin. Oh, assalamu alaikum. So nice to meet you. So nice to meet you all. Shukriya, shukriya. Thank you for sharing your story, my friends. Be well, be well. Oh. I mean, that's about as small a world as it gets, right? Never in a million years did I think I'd run into somebody from Wisconsin, uh, right here in Pakistan, well, right here in Rawalpindi. Okay, amazing dinner. The the sheep was delicious. Lamb or sheep? It was lamb. Right? I lamb. 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 Yeah. lamb. The lamb was delicious. Now we're gonna go walk across the street and close out the video with something sweet and something that also 
is banned uh, in a few <laughs> countries around the world. So, Anam is insisting that I have some of this uh, again before I leave. Can you tell me the name of this? Soft. Soft. Yes. Okay, and it, it's uh, we, I had it in an earlier video when we went to the Afghani restaurant. Yes. Um, it's very minty. It's a little sweet. Yes. Um, are you supposed to suck on it or chew it? When chew I chew it, it, it when chew I chew it, it, it hurts my teeth. So I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna suck on it for a little bit, but it's so much, that's like a huge handful. And I got it everywhere. All right, I'm, I'm gonna want to chew it. I'm gonna I'm suck it. Enjoy, do it good. I'm gonna enjoy all the flavor, like a hard candy. Yeah, it just like hurts my teeth to chew it. Assalamu alaikum, brothers. Assalamu alaikum. All right, off into the night we go. Very, very uh, impressed with the food here. In Rawa Pindi Food Street, I don't know. With the candy, the soft, is starting to dissolve a little bit. We're about to try a very beloved Indian sweet treat uh, called Mita Pan. And there's several different types of pan. There's even pan that's made with tobacco, but a lot of it contains all sorts of like bits of fruit. But what makes it really unique and what actually uh, has it banned in several countries is that it's made with the betel leaf. I think I'm pronouncing that right, betel leaf, betel. Is it, is it betel or beetle? Betel, and he's making it up right here. So he's got the betel leaf and he's putting on this, this paste on it. And what is, okay, that's some of the candy that we just had, like some of those minty bits. What is that? This is like uh, some almost like um, sugared. Brown sugar? Brown sugar. And he's putting on like, again, I don't know what any of these ingredients uh, are. This is date. Date. Mixed with sugar. M sugar, okay, so like um, crystallized dates yeah. covered in sugar. It looks like they've been boiled a little bit. Now he's putting on, what is he putting on? What are you, what are you putting on? It is made up of rose. Rose? Okay. Yeah. He's putting in rose. And now he's sprinkling. This is this is a fragrance. A fragrance? Yeah. Okay. He's giving me he's giving me one to try. Oh, whoa, that's so strong. It's like just the heaviest spearmint taste. Wow. Like the flavor is exploding. Like this is like, this is fresh in your breath. Like crazy. It feels like a rock. It feels like a seed. I don't think I want to chew it. Wow. That's strong. My mouth is literally like, it, it's straight up like mouthwash. This is such an insane amount um, of ingredients in there. Apparently you're supposed to say what? Shahi khushbu. Shahi khushbu. Like royal fragrance. Royal fragrance. Aroma. Okay, yeah. there's so many things in this pizza pan. Like, I, I, I tried it a couple weeks ago, actually. I didn't make a video. A friend I met here gave me it. And now what do they pour it on there? Sorry, they just pour it on. Again, our fragrance. Another fragrance. So a lot of like fragrances and stuff being added to the meat the pan. But I tried it a couple weeks ago and it like gave me a headache. It made me lightheaded. Well, that's because it contains betel leaf, this leaf here. And it's also going to turn my teeth very red. It actually um, is a psychoactive ingredient. Uh, in a lot of countries around the world, people are addicted to the betel nut. And it like turns their teeth red and it gets you a little loopy. Um, so I'm just gonna try a bite of it here. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing because I, I truly, I don't want to get like loopy. You dig what I'm saying? At least uh, not not in these conditions. Uh, so this, 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 this snack is, is, I just want a bite, just a tiny, tiny bite. Uh, this snack, this sweet treat is banned in the UK. I'll let you take the first bite. You can, you can tell us everything you think. Okay. May I? Yeah, no, please, yeah. Let it roll. Let it rip. <laughs> mm. is, no. is that a good or a bad? That's a, that's no, a bad. It's, bad. it's, it's a very bad. bad. It's a bad. Yeah. I don't like it. Can, can you can you just give me a little bite? A pow. Oh. No, oh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. How are you finding? It? It's not bad. It's like the craziest combination of flavors you've ever had in your life. It's like someone took a bunch of fruity candy, oh, yeah. poured in a bunch of mouthwash, right. and then literally dumped in the entire like perfume aisle. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I don't love it. I don't love it. She asked me, she asked me why am I making a face like this? Yeah. 
I don't love it. Are my teeth red? Did you turn my teeth red? The meat of pan I had a couple weeks back turned my teeth like so red. Mm. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. Especially like I've had some like disastrous stomach issues for the past week here in Pathham. It's so I got I got I gotta go um, gently spit it out off camera. I don't know how to describe that. Like I mean I gave you the description. The fragrances, the perfume aisle. It's so weird. It's so so weird. There's nothing on earth like it. I would recommend that you try it. I wouldn't eat the whole thing because I, straight up. I took a little bite of the one a couple weeks ago and I was I was truly in another dimension. So I can only imagine if I were to eat the whole thing. No, I'm so so good. <laughs> Are you bringing it with? Are you going to What are you going to do with it? He give it for you. Oh, no. You don't want it? No. Okay, how, mu how much was it? Thank Sorry. you, by the way. How much was? It's of 70 rupees. 70 rupees. Pakistani 70 rupees. Okay, so like, man, 40, 50 cents, even maybe yeah, probably okay. probably less than that. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Okay, and that's where we're going to wrap it up. We chow down on some delicious lamb. We chow down on some amazing chicken and the palau. And uh, we finish it off with some, I, I can never tell a lie, some very unique. Uh, me to pan. So again, major, major thanks uh, to these two beautiful Pakistani sisters for showing me around, for being so generous and buying me all this food. Thank you, Ikra. Thank you so much, Anam. My name's Brent Tim from Rawalpindi, Pakistan. I'm a Pindi boy now, and I'm saying ciao for now. <laughs>